Hey guys, this is Price the Producer with GlobalAudioTools.com. I also have my beats available at PriceTheProducer.com. Be sure to check those out. And again, thank you all for tuning in. I genuinely appreciate it. Instead of a sound demonstration video, what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring you guys a tutorial today. It will be a quick tutorial. There's not much to it. But before I continue, I want to point out that this is going to be for the beginner user rather than the advanced. Some of you may know this, some of you may not. I apologize if you do. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. And for those of you who don't, uh, you know, just stay with me. Let's go ahead and get on into this. So basically what I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys today is how to add your sounds to the FL Studio panel. So this is going to be for FL Studio users. I believe the same concept can be applied to just about any version of I'm Correct. So as you see right here, I have my own custom folders, which is a Global Audio Tools with all of our products that we offer at GlobalAudioTools.com in this folder. And I have another one right here with Sound Majors with, that, with all the products they offer at SoundMajors.com. So as you can see, I created custom folders for the sounds that I like to utilize within my beats. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and teach you guys how to do this at home. Now, we're not actually going to start this process in FL Studio. What we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to pull up the little Windows flag down here at the, you, you know, you click on the bottom left corner and you go into the uh, internal hard drive. What I like to do is put it into the program files times 86 folder. Now, when you go into this folder, what we're going to go ahead and do is right click, click new folder. What you're going to want to do is create a new folder. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to uh, title this video, uh, video demonstration, just so that way you guys know what you're looking for within FL. Video demo. Okay, so after you uh, create your folder, you will title it anything you want. So for example, if you're uh, buying sounds from GlobalAudioTools.com, you'd want to go into your internal hard drive, the Programs 86 uh, folder. Go into there, uh, right-click, Create Folder, and then title it Global Audio Tools. And each time you buy a product from our website, you would just simply load it into there or just drag and drop it into that folder, and that's where it'll live on your hard drive. Now, if, you don't have, uh, if you're not going to use the internal hard drive, I believe if I'm correct, let's say if you keep all your sounds on an external hard drive, this exact same concept will apply. Nothing will be different except the directory of where in which the files and uh, kits actually live would be on your external rather than on your internal. But for the sake of this one, I'm just doing it right here on my internal hard drive. So that way you viewers at home can get the idea. So again, we're at, we clicked on the hard drive. We're in programs files 86. I made a folder uh, called, I, I titled it, sorry, video demonstration. Now, what I would want to do from this point forward is we want to move over to FL Studio. And again, I believe this is going to work for every version of FL Studio that we have. And what I'm going to want to do is click on Options. From within the Options, you're going to want to go to File Settings. And in the File Settings, you'll actually see the directories here that are actually blanked out. Click on a blank directory and simply locate the folder that we just created. In this instance, it's going to be in my uh, internal hard drive in the Program Files 86 folder. And then we'll see at the bottom, bear with me, video demonstration, click OK. Now it's added to the directory within FL. From this point forward, you can simply X out of here. And you actually see it way at the bottom right here. It's video demonstrations. Now we can't uh, actually open up this folder because there's nothing in it. So for example, let's say we downloaded a drum kit. In this instance, I'm going to use Heroic Drums just for the sake of this demonstration. Let's say you downloaded those, uh, that drum kit heroic drum pack available at globalaudiotools.com. You would simply uh, drag and drop it or paste it into here, the folder that you created. Now, if you go back to FL Studio, I'm going to refresh my uh, directory right here, my panel. If you open it, heroic drums will be listed, and so will all the samples. Good to go, ready to use to start creating music. I mean, there's not much to it, you guys. It is a simple, short tutorial for uh, you uh, beginner, beginning users. So I hope you guys did pick this up, and I hope it worked for you on your end. If it did not, drop a comment below. I'll be more than happy to walk you through. Again, thank you all for tuning in, guys. Be sure to subscribe. You all have a great day.